Reporting in Union City today for the fourth annual immigration conference, co-sponsored by the New Jersey Reentry Corporation, and in attendance was the State Attorney General Gerwar Griebel, who last year issued the Immigrant Trust Directive, which called on all state, county, and local law enforcement officials to limit their voluntary assistance with federal civil immigration authorities, including Immigration and Customs Enforcement. And I signed a statewide order that we called the Immigrant Trust Directive, which finally drew a bright, clear line between our state's law enforcement officers on the one hand who enforce our criminal laws and federal civil immigration officers on the other hand. The purpose of the directive was simple. We wanted to ensure that victims and witnesses of crimes felt comfortable coming to law enforcement, regardless of their immigration status. The reason that we're here from the Attorney General's office is we want to let all communities in this state know that they can trust their law enforcement officers to protect and to serve them. Uh, there's quite a bit of fear in the uh, Latin American community and, and immigrant communities in general across the state that they can't reach out to law enforcement because it might end up in their uh, deportation or if they don't have status uh, that they might be turned over to ICE. So it's important for them to know, for everyone to know that if you go to state law enforcement, our number one job is to protect and to serve you and that we will not turn you over to ICE or to immigration authorities, that we will listen to your concerns, prosecute your abuser or anyone who takes advantage of you. You know, Attorney General, it was last year, about a year ago, right, when you issued that directive that restricts the, the work that ICE can, or local police, uh, uh, police forces can work with the ICE uh, services. So have you seen any pushback from the federal government on a federal level since that directive was issued? We haven't seen any pushback. Uh, there's not been any litigation uh, at the federal level regarding the Immigrant Trust Directive. Uh, and frankly, we haven't seen any pushback from law enforcement officials across the state. The only pushback comes from elected officials. Uh, and I think that's particularly telling because the people who work day in and day out to protect our communities understand how important this directive is and how it's a public safety directive. When I talked about the pushback, the pushback has been from local officials. Uh, several counties uh, have brought suit uh, challenging my ability to, uh, to, to give that directive and to enforce it. And so we're fighting that in court. And those cases are consolidated in federal court. And we're confident that, uh, that we'll prevail in those, uh, those cases. Mark Bucent reporting in Union City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.